I think when I was laid in my mom and dad's house at 36 years old, lost everything, I'd sang on some of the biggest platforms in America. And when I found myself at rock bottom, none of them were there. And I found Jesus, which was the rock at the bottom. And I remember laying in that bed one night asking God to take the pain away because in the church world, we think God is a genie in a bottle. And we think we can shout and give ourselves out of it. And I think in that place when I was praying for God to take this pain away from me, he said, you got to get up and walk away from it. What did that look like to me that night? That looked like finding my identity. I was faker than all get out like everybody else trying to fit in St. John's suit. And my insides were tore up from the floor up. And I said, I want to take off the mask and I don't want to care what nobody thinks about me. I'm tired of being an Ann Taylor when you created me to be a Betsy Johnson. I need to get my tail free. And so what, who am I? I'm that girl that was laying in that bed that night wishing to God that I had somebody to wrap their arms around me, but so thankful they didn't because I had to pull on the hem of his garment. And the one thing that I discovered that night was I came out of the hell. I came out of the storm. And now I am authentic to the bone. What you see is what you get. I don't change with the trends. I don't change with the wind. I am who God created me to be. And I'm authentic and I'm free from pleasing people. When I walk in a room, I ain't even got to open my mouth because of the God on the inside of me. I love people. When I say I love you, they say I know you do. I love like Jesus because I hit rock bottom. And found out who Jesus was. All right, we're throwing out a word for you. Authentic. 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 What does authentic look like? Just real. Like, like, your heart is so right. Your heart is so healed. That anything that comes out of your mouth just exudes Jesus. Mm -hmm. It's it's being intentional. It's, It's about laying on your floor and spending time with God and being accountable and not not being afraid to to be vulnerable in the presence of God and just say, God, I I just, I don't even like who I am today. So I'm going to go in my war room and I I may not have a war room, but I'm going to walk in the bathroom and I'm going to lay hands on myself because the same power that raised Jesus from the dead, I found that power at 36, at 37, it's here. I, I am not beyond, come out, laying hands on my tongue. I will lay, I will do my own healing line. The authenticity is what millennials want. That's what the church wants. They're sick of the fake and bait. And they're ready to see an authentic person that's preaching what she says. Every day consistent. You can be consistent and authentic when you really know who Jesus is. You ain't got to watch what comes out of your mouth. You ain't got to watch if anybody's around. Can I drink some wine? No, it is what it is here, and it is what it is in that bedroom, and I ain't got nothing to hide, and it feels so good. (laughs) Are you understanding what she's saying? Who she is in the public is who she is in the private. I think with me, I was raised in United Pentecostal. And so I was raised what I couldn't do. And I shouted and fell on the floor like everybody else because that's what we did. And I remember at like seven years old looking out from the, from, the, from the front row, looking at all the singers out there singing, our God is an awesome God, he right? And I was like, well, I don't want to even go to heaven with them, y'all, because it's going to be so boring. And I think what happened was it was almost like I was always fighting against the Christianity or or, or religion. And so then I was taught if you get divorced, you're going to hell on a slip and slide. Of course, I did it. I did, you know, I was the one that was going to hell on a slip and slide. Um, And I think whenever I hit 36 years old is when I got to a place where I said, God, I want to know you for me. And I think that's where the world is. I said, if you will get me out of this hell I've got myself into, and I think this is where everybody in this room has to be, and that's why we're in here with you, is because we're wanting something different. I said, if you will get me to a place where I'm healed from the inside out, I will never prostitute your anointing. I will get in my lane, and I will never change who God, who you created me to be. In the midst of my hell, I came out on fire, and I will speak as loud as I can. I will be obnoxious as I can. I will get on social media, and I'll talk about Jesus because he's the coolest thing. He is the goat. And so I think... 
I think that what's happening now is that we ain't playing these games no more. We coming up in here and we want a word for real. We want to know God for real. We want to hear God for ourselves. We want to know that God's got some Waffle House greasy grace and he'll take us from the pit to the palace even if we've been divorced. All he's waiting on is a willing vessel. And I think that's what's happening now. We're stirring up. Thank you, Kanye West. We're stirring up a revival where the world is Googling Jesus and he's the top person on the Google Play that everybody's looking for. That's what's happening. We cause him a revival.